what's up guys so people ask me a lot what i think of coding boot camps in 2020 if you're not aware the first video on my channel was titled why not to go to coding boot camp because i went to a boot camp in 2017 personally didn't think it was worth the cost now the intent of that video was not to persuade people not to go but rather to give more information around uh, coding boot camps because it's very hard to tell what they're actually like from the marketing materials, which can be misleading. So effectively, I found this article that I thought would be very useful to, you know, anyone interested in the coding bootcamp industry as a whole or any people who are thinking of going. And the article is about Lambda School, which is a um, remote only bootcamp with a deferred payment plan. So these deferred payment plan bootcamps have emerged as a good way to finance your your bootcamp education you go to the bootcamp first and then if you get a job you pay 15 percent of your your salary for a year or two years and that will effectively pay for the bootcamp now the great part is if you don't get a job you don't pay at all but this article has kind of brought to light a few of the unsavory practices of of lambda school that really echo the the same things I experienced in my bootcamp, even though this is supposed to be the next wave of innovation of bootcamps. So I wanted to share this article with you guys for the same reason, just to give you more information if you're trying to make this decision. And I think just the coding education industry is very interesting because we're, we're on a new frontier of education where we're moving away from credentials into skill-based learning. So it's just very interesting to see, you know, how this is all moving forward so here is the article lambda schools misleading promises and i'm definitely not trying to slander lambda school but i did find this article interesting so diving into it the first paragraph goes over what i just talked about there's 2500 students who receive education online from their homes remote only and none of whom pay out of pocket for their educations, instead signing income share agreements or ISAs, through which Lambda gets a percentage of their first tech job after graduating. This is kind of just the history of Lambda School. If you're interested, link in the description. Now jumping down to the first interesting point, the job placement section. And what this says is, the point of a coding bootcamp, obviously, is to help you get a better job. Lambda's claim reproduced on its website that 86% of Lambda school graduates are hired within six months and make over 50k a year is an understandably attractive proposition for students. Down here, though, it says the Lambda school investment memo tells a very different story. It matter of factly states we're at roughly 50% placement for cohorts that are six months graduated. That's a 36% discrepancy. So what they're doing here is they're playing around with statistics. And it was the same that my bootcamp did three years ago. And it's frankly a bit surprising they're still doing it. Because when I signed up, my bootcamp said 97% chance to get a job within six months, which is insane. <laughs> That's an insane number. But when I graduated, I found a internal document. They kind of hid away on the website that um, that indicated it had dropped to 60%, which is in line effectively with this 50. I, it's understandable that now it's a bit lower, but very misleading, very misleading marketing. And Lambda School is is no exception down to the income sharing section which is a big selling point for a lot of people who sign up i think they're incentivized to get you a job so worst case you don't pay anything and you're back where you started right however last year lambda school partnered with a marketplace to sell isas to investors isa being income share agreement selling these income share agreements mean they are getting paid whether or not you get a job. They're selling the risk to a bank who will then try to collect the money later. Selling debt like this is a common finance practice to reduce your risk because let's say 
there's a really bad year in Lambda school and only 10% of students get a job, Lambda school is going under unless they find some way to mitigate that risk. So they'll sell it for less than it will pay in the future to a bank who will then collect it. The problem with this is the school's secret financing arrangements are a violation of Lambda's central promise to its students that Lambda only makes money when the students make money. So when they do this, where are the incentives now? If they sell the debt, where's the incentive for them to help you get a job? Because they're getting paid either way. So for you, the student, it's the same. You, you still don't pay if you don't get a job. But unfortunately, this is another central pillar of the marketing. The placement rate and the income share agreement, both of them here are kind of, you know, brought into question, which is unfortunate. But those things aside, this is actually what I have the biggest problem with. And I talked about this in my previous video is the curriculum. Now, you may or may not be aware, but most of the instruction you're getting are from student contractors called team leads who just finished the program. If you read in this section, one student told me he was given no training on how to be a team lead and spent many hours devising curriculums and exercises to help other students. These team leads can be very effective because they just learned what you learned. So in a way, they're the most qualified to teach you, but at the same time, they can they cannot fully understand what they're teaching, so they can miss, um, you know, very important things, and they can also teach you kind of in the wrong way. So that's all well and good, but what I really have a problem with is right here. A student described material copied from a popular course on Udemy, an online learning platform. This exact same thing happened to me too. Nothing is nothing has changed, okay? Because with my bootcamp too, we had a section on React with a project that I thought was pretty good. It was building a YouTube clone in the bootcamp. So you can imagine my surprise when after the bootcamp, I went to take a React course on Udemy, which is a platform where you can buy courses for 20 bucks. And the one of the projects in that course I bought was exactly the same as what was in the bootcamp. And we spent two days on that project in the bootcamp. So I effectively paid something to the order of a thousand dollars for a $20 course that was basically stolen from this guy who made it on Udemy. So that was really disappointing for me. And it's disappointing to see it's still happening. But the thing is, boot camps have to create three months of tuition. And I'm making a course right now. And I can tell you, it takes a very long time if you want to make it good. So it's not surprising they have to take shortcuts to, to do this. This just makes it seem like boot camps have certain limitations they can't overcome, regardless of what boot camp, you know, tries to implement them. Now, this article goes into some more anecdotes and um, the CEO's responses to these claims, but overall, a uh, very, very negative article. If you want to read it, link in the description. To be at least a little bit balanced, I've jumped back over to the comments on uh, this article on Hacker News. And one person who is a current student, um, actually, I thought made a very insightful comment. This guy has mixed feelings about going to Lambda school, namely saying that it's uh, chaotic and they don't do a good enough job of, of helping create the portfolio. Totally makes sense. But he did illuminate the, the main reason why I think a lot of people go is the daily structure and discipline and meeting people. And those can't be understated really, because I think what it comes down to is, are you capable of going all the way on your own or not? I think most people, me included, <clears throat> they sign up for a boot camp when they feel a little bit stuck on self-learning, and then it can at least give them a push in the right direction. But the cost is very high, and I think people's expectations are, are proportional to what they're paying, but you might not be necessarily getting that value, if that makes sense. So again, just want to give you guys this information about the realities of the bootcamp. And at the end of the day, even if the placement rate is 50%, you know, if you're in that 50%, you win. So <laughs> still have a 50-50 chance. So anyway, guys, that's just some 2020 data I wanted to pass on to you and that's about all I got. So uh, I'll catch you guys soon.
Thank you.